For the past few days I have been sick and coughing and congested and breaking out in hives which is something that I haven't done for like over 10 years so it's not been a fantastic week for me but I'll tell you what I do have a pretty good story to tell you guys so that'll be fun. Also before we get started I wanted to show you guys a little art piece that I made um, with the mannequins from both Mannequin Warehouse 1 and 2 because I was bored and I didn't have anything else to do. If you are familiar with the classic painting dogs playing poker I, I remade that but uh, with, with the mannequins. Like I already said I just built this because I was bored and I thought it'd be cool to have an official sort of art piece that kind of represented my work and what I'm capable of. It's also cool to see, you know, these mannequins taking a break from murdering people uh, to just play poker in a non-hostile setting. But anyway, enough of mannequins playing poker. Let's get into what I discovered to be the real reason Mannequin Warehouse 2 was denied. Um, and if you think the title is clickbait, it's not. Um, you, you really can't make this stuff up. You guys know that picture of DJ Khaled where it says, like, suffering from success at the bottom of it? Yeah, that's me minus the success. Hey everyone, this is Syntax, and because I had such a strong desire to figure out more on why my map was denied for inappropriate content, I now have even less faith in the feature system than I did before. You see, I was dissatisfied with the broad general statement of inappropriate content. So I DM'd a friend and he was like, you know what, you should contact this person. So I contacted that person and they were like, you know what, you should contact this person. And after contacting that second person, I was given the courtesy of some insight. In an effort to be as anti-problematic as possible, I blurred out the name of the conversation that I'm about to show you guys, but just know that it was a person that works for Epic Games that has creative developer relations, so just take a look at what they said. About a week ago, I contacted this person and I basically just said, hey, one of my maps recently got denied for inappropriate content. Do you think you could give me some more insight on what might have been specifically wrong with the map? And they said, sure, and asked for the code and I gave them the map code, which right away made me feel a little bit better because they were actually going to go in and check the map for me to see what was specifically wrong. After just a few minutes, the person got back to me and said, the island image doesn't share likeness to Fortnite. Could I take a look at the image? So I sent them the island thumbnail and I was like, that's the island thumbnail if that's what you're referring to. And they said, is that what you submitted with it to Discovery? And I just said, yeah, because that's what the thumbnail is. The person that I was texting then proceeds to say, and I quote, I see. So that is definitely made in Fortnite. But it's so well made that the reviewer thought it wasn't. Lol, I will get this overturned for you. I'm sorry, am I missing something? At first glance, I thought I must be mentally deficient because there's no way that this is actually what happened. And sure enough, I just kept reading it over and over and over again. Um, the map was denied because it was too well made. I wish you guys could have understood my anger in that current moment. I was saying so many things to myself that probably would have gotten me banned in certain countries, honestly, but I, you know, I'm relatively tame right now, but like, you can't even make that up. What even is that? And what makes it even worse is I sent them so many things that would have single-handedly verified it was a Fortnite creation. I sent them the submission video. I sent them the trailer. I sent them the walkthrough. I sent them my Discord username, my Twitter username. I sent them all of these things. They literally watched the submission video that I sent to them. And even in the case that that video wasn't convincing enough, they could have taken three minutes out of their day to contact me on Discord and been like, yo, this map looks too well made to be made in Fortnite. Can you verify that it's a Fortnite map? And I would have just been like, yeah, obviously it's a Fortnite map. Why would I submit it? You would think that the people reviewing these maps, deciding the fate of these creators' content, would at the very least know what the game looks like. At the very least, the bare minimum. You just have to know what the game looks like. You would also think that a multi-billion dollar corporation such as Epic Games in a situation like this would be able to provide a few side notes on what content might have been considered inappropriate. And if you do that, then this whole misunderstanding is completely avoided and there's no issue. I don't care if you get 15,000 submissions a day. There is no excuse to dismiss this as content that isn't Fortnite just because because it looks good. Like, look at the thumbnail. 
You can't tell that that's the bones and the charcoal pieces? Like, uh, it's just, it's beyond pathetic. It really is. I posted about this on Twitter a couple days ago, and it turns out that I'm not even the first creator to have this happen to them. There are other creators out there getting their content denied because it looks too good. Like, how is that even a thing? Is Epic just pulling random people off the street and being like, hey, yo, you want a job reviewing maps? And they're like, what's a map? And they're like, don't worry about it. Just uh, accept or deny. Is that what's actually happening? Because I feel like that's not too far from the truth. In all seriousness, though, I think this is a prime example of how bad the feature system actually is inside of Fortnite Creative, and anyone who wants to sit there and deny it is just strictly delusional. You are out of your mind if you think this is a good system they have. This shows me that Epic has gone so long without seeing any good content. It's just the same shit over and over again. Red versus blue, 1v1, 2v2, go goaded. All of these maps that when they finally see something that could be good content, there's just no way it can even be Fortnite related. That's insane. It honestly makes me question why even try to make good content inside of this game if all I'm gonna do is get punished for it. Why even try to push the boundaries? Why not just stick to the zone wars, the red versus blue, or, you know, the realistic 1v1s. Why not? Because I'm literally getting punished for making content that looks good. And what sucks is my goal for every map is to make it feel as little like Fortnite as physically possible. Like, the goal of Mannequin Warehouse 2, the goal of Mannequin Warehouse 1, the goal of all of these maps is to make it feel like you're not playing Fortnite, and I am literally just getting punished for that. So, like, what's the point, you know? And just to be clear, I don't care about being featured. I haven't cared about being featured for a long time and it's not about being featured. This is about highlighting the fact that the system they have in place is so unbelievably, undeniably flawed, and that trying to push the boundaries of the game is just gonna result in you getting punished. It's not gonna play in your favor. Of course, there's always the possibility that I could be overreacting to the situation, but if you're gonna sit there and try to convince me that this feature system, the feature system that is making certain creators hundreds of thousands of dollars is a balanced and fair system, then I mean this in the most respectful way possible, but you are out of your mind and this video proves it. Anyway, that's my two cents on the situation. Turns out I am just too good at this game for Epic to feature me, and I'll just have to live with that for the rest of my existence. But anyway, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, this has been Syntax. Later. On the bright side though, turns out Warsaw just passed the initial review process, which brings it one step closer to being featured, and I went out and bought a USB microphone for recording certain things, so when the Sin talks start, they should sound pretty good, but um, yeah, later.